so let's talk about conservation. The Earth has many natural resources. These resources include the air, minerals, plants, soil, water, and wildlife. Conservation is the care and protection of these resources so that they can be used by future generations. Conservation seeks the sustainable use of nature by humans for activities such as hunting, logging or mining. Continued human population growth has led to unsustainable rates of consumption of our natural resources, resulting in a loss of Earth's biodiversity. Biodiversity is a measure of the variety of species. The main factors that are driving biodiversity loss include Habitat destruction climate change, invasive species, over-exploitation of resources. And pollution. Biodiversity loss is closely intertwined with species extinction. While extinction is a normal process of nature, the rate at which it is happening today is not. Scientists estimate that current extinction rates are about a thousand times higher now than would be expected based on the fossil record we may in fact be experiencing a mass extinction event, which is when 75% or more species are lost at a time. Conservation practices and policies include Removal of invasive species The setting up of national parks and nature reserves and the Endangered Species Act, which estimates that over 26,500 species are currently endangered. In addition to loss of biodiversity, other problems caused by overpopulation and overuse are Pollution of water supplies caused by farming has made many water supplies dangerous for humans to drink. Pollution of the atmosphere caused by burning fossil fuels, the meat industry and the fashion industry are causing climate change. Pollution caused by farming, factories and mining is leading to pollution of many soils. The toxins can then get into food chains. We are all responsible for making the changes necessary to help save our Earth. Here are 10 things that schools can do to help. Measure 1. Eat less meat and dairy. 
Measure 2. Use eco cleaners that don't have harsh chemicals. Measure 3. Use less paper. For example, use iPads instead. Measure 4. Start an eco club. Measure 5. Reuse waste. For example, you could use it in art, DT or science projects. Measure 6. Recycle wherever possible. Measure 7. Start your own vegetable patch. Measure 8. If you're not using it, turn it off. That means lights and computers and any other electrical equipment. Measure 9. Ban one-use plastic. You can use biodegradables instead. Measure 10. Get educated. The more you know about the environment, the better a conservationist you will be. And hopefully, if we all work together, we can prevent this and save these.